Before the video begins, make sure to join my Discord server to get help with your code. Links in the description. Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial on how to make a bot using Discord JDA. This is episode 2 and in today's video we're going to be talking about M messages. If you don't know what an M message is, it's basically this. So if I run exclamation point M, my bot's going to give me a message with this. These are some of the things you can do with an M message. You can add images, you can add emojis and stuff. You can also use formatting, which is pretty cool. So if you do like that, you can also put that inside of the M. I didn't obviously add that in there yet, but we can actually do that, which is pretty cool. Okay, so now that we're in the Eclipse editor, we're basically going to go up to the default package and make a new class. And before you actually continue with this tutorial, you want to make sure you watch my first episode. We're going to name this Amid Command, right? And here, the first thing, as always, at the top, we're going to put extends listener adapter. Okay? And now we're just going to import it. And now we're going to do public void on guild message received guild message received event. Oh, event is what the name's going to be. We're going to import that. And then we're going to do make a array of args. And then we're going to get that from oevent.getMessage.get content raw. And then we're going to split this every time there's a space in the message. And that's going to make the args. And now we're going to check if the args 0 equals exclamation point m. Then, or no, sorry, not m do exclamation point hello then we're going to make the m and make it send things right so what does all of this do obviously i went into more detail in the last episode so i'm still going to cover this just in case you don't feel like going into the last episode it's basically going to check if the args which is every time there's a space in a message using this code java counts from zero up it doesn't count from one up and uh, it's going to check, I didn't explain this in the last video, so this is kind of why I'm going over it. Dot equals ignore case means it's going to get whatever the first arg in the, the argument in the message is. And it's going to check if it equals to whatever this is, except it's not going to matter the capitalization of it. It's not case sensitive. And if it is exclamation point hello, then what we want to do is we want to go into here. And then we're going to do something new called M Builder. So just follow along, it's emd builder, and we're going to name it builder, and then we're going to equal that to a new emd builder. Okay, and now we're going to import it with control shift O or command shift O. Then we're going to do that line, and then we're going to set the title. So dot, and then you can see all the things you can do here. You can set the color, description, the footer, image, title, and all stuff. So set title, and we're going to set this to... I don't know hello and then we're gonna go down a line and then we can do we can add another one and you can keep set like going down the line and just dots and then just keep adding these to whatever you want so let's set the color the color takes a hex code which is in Java you just put 0x and then the hex code so it could be 2d 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 and that would work right but it's whatever you want. I'm going to do three Fs to make it white. Default, it's black. So if you want it to be black, then you don't have to set the color. And now we're going to go down the line and we're going to do set description. So the description is this text right here. Whenever you send an M, this is the text that would be the description. Except it won't say this is the description. We can set this to whatever we want. We can say, hello, how are you? And now we've created the M. Make sure to put the semicolon at the end so that it works. Now what we could do is how do we send this into the chat, right? You would probably, if you watched the last episode, and you remembered, you would say oevent.getchannel.send message. And then if you thought about it for a minute, you probably get confused or be like, oh, can't we just say builder? And then we could queue this. Well, you see there's an error, and the reason is, is because 
character sequence, it's not like, it doesn't take M to builder, it takes string values. So how do we get the builder to be a string? Well, what we do is we do builder.build, and that takes everything and it turns it into a string value. So once you've done that, you want to go to the main.java, go to the top, and then we want to do add event listeners and make it new m command or whatever you name this here with two opening and closing parentheses. And now we're going to stop this because I had it running for the intro. And now if we run it again, it'll ask you if you save, if you don't want to save. Um, what I like to do is press control alt s. I think, or is it Control shift s Yes, yeah, Control shift s and it saves everything that's open. Now we hit run, and now if we go to Discord and we do exclamation point hello, it will say the title will be hello, and then the description will be hello, how are you? Now let's say we wanted to change the color to, I don't know, let's say purple. So we would say color picker. And now this is a very cool thing that I guess Google created and we can basically get the hex code of any color so if we wanted white it would just be this if we wanted to be purple so something like that we would just copy this go into Eclipse go into our our class and where we said set color we do 0x and then the color that we just had and now we we disconnect terminate it all and then we hit run again and now if we go over back to Discord and we say exclamation point hello, it'll be that same color that we picked. So that's going to be all for today's video. If you did learn something, make sure to leave a like and subscribe so you never miss out on more coding tutorials by me. Make sure to join my Discord server. The link's in the description where you can get help with your code from other members of the server. And I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. Peace out.